guess, because I'm going to go die. Um, so, not available in YAML. I didn't know that this was going to have multiplayer. Interesting. Campaign. Are those locked or not available in demo? I don't know. Is there another message from devs? Ah! Hold up. Uh, while we are super happy to have come so far uh, and open the first men, men on Steam early access after more than two years of development. Okay, maybe it, I, uh, that's probably about when I found it. it was at the beginning. Um, and an additional two years of discovery. Oh, and pre-production and prototyping. Bear in mind that the game is still a work in progress. We incorporate your feedback and we continuously update and prioritize our roadmap. Keep at and keep adding new content and reworking existing features. Uh, expect bugs and crashes after each update because the first met is a huge game and consists of many underlying features. Please share your feedback using our in-game reporting tool and or our the official Discord server. If you are previ if you have previously played uh, the first men alpha or demo. Uh, the game has since been heavily optimized and contains new content and features. Be prepared. Some mechanics have been redesigned and work differently. This is our passion project, and we believe it will be the best game that tells many creation stories. Ooh. Good luck. Um, and the path ahead is exciting, and we are happy to have everyone participating in the early access to make the first men a better game. Thank you for your support. All right. Apologies, picture. I'm straight. But hello to you. Gotta love a big chunky ball of text. Well, I mean, we're no stranger to that. Uh, Blight Prince of Yerdim sent his ill-forgotten test subjects to called he called humans to Demoria, a pocket prison dimension that he created long ago. This is going places. Um, he sent them through a way gate and gave them 40 years to kill off one of the shard holders of his imprisoned dragon mothers, Sylvetnia. Shard holders are, a fa are faction leaders who are sacred across Demoria, and they are performing a ritual to break her chains. Okay. If these humans fail to kill at least one of the shard holders... Yerdim will have to destroy Demoria with everything inside of it as a precautionary measure. Uh, if they succeed, this pocket realm will be their new prison as a reward. Lovely. Uh, certainly better than the abyssal cells made of devil bones. Yerdim uh, has a very little hope, and it's up to you to prove them to prove him wrong. Uh, and save the lives of these humans by getting rid of those of the shard holders before his patience runs out. This is going in several directions. He sent through a way gate and gave 40 years to kill one of the shard keepers. His imprisoned dragon mother. Okay, the humans of Yerdim and Demora. Objectives. Kill one of the shard keepers before year 40. Claw mother Keisha of uh, Keisha's bears in the Driftville Forest. Sandlord Jamal of the Kezra tribe in the Breach. Gorthok the Betrayer of Guk Doa in Bedrock Hills. And Frost Runner Bella, sorry, Bellinair, of the Grim Back Society in the Ire. I'm not sure what we're doing, Evercrow, I'll be honest with you. This is a lot of words and jargon that I feel like I should know, but definitely don't. I need more coffee for this. Quick tutorial, that seems wise. Basics. You can move the camera with WASD. That might be the slowest camera movement with WASD I've ever seen in my life. I mean, that's doable. <laughs> but, like, why even why even give us the option if you're going to, like, eh, eh, eh. Anyway. Um, cool. Points. <clears throat> Up in the top left. Could, I really wish that they could have written those in texts that I could read. What is that? Prosperity? Is it the green stuff? Industry, influence, unity, 
and amenity, I think? Characters collect points automatically by doing work time activities. There are five entity points in the first men. Prosperity, industry, influence, unity, and amenity. Well, could have just read the bottom half first. <laughs> yeah, the camera's like stuck in some venomous sludge that's seriously slowing it down. Anyway, I, I, I li I'm, I'm interested in this game because I think the art style is pretty, so. Although you, if you zoom all the way in, they do feel a little blurry. Kind of wish that the sprites were higher res. Zoomed out, they look fine, though. Zoomed in, they look at all... Uh, unlocks! Um, hold up. You can unlock new traditions whenever you have enough unity points. Collected F4 key. <laughs> F4? Oh. I do appreciate them just giving me the hotkeys. Oh, I see. Okay. Holy tiny icons. I think this is what I have already, and this is what I can unlock. Hi, babe. There's a lot to this. Not available in demo. Well, that's good. At least a lot of my options are, like, nullified, so I don't need to worry about thinking about them just yet. So are these the ones I can get next, I think? Okay, I understand. I have this, so I can get this, which will then give me access to further away things, I guess. I have hunting. But like, I guess that's like a spear with a fish on the end of it. These icons are really hard to tell what they mean. Okay, let's keep reading. Uh, characters. You can select a character by selecting them, which is this thing up here. I didn't realize this game had kind of like the sci-fi interdimensional bent to it. I don't know. Kind of sad it's that way, but that is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, you select a character by picking by clicking them on the world or in their name or selecting them in the characters panel. Uh, the F1 key lets you open characters in this panel. Yep. Okay. And clicking on them gives me them. You're an Earthborn. And you have the Affliction Held, which gives you minus stats. Well, okay, so what, what are these stats then? Rigor modifies the chance of interrupting an enemy's action. Interruptions can occur. Okay. Fortitude modifies the determinations of strength. Insight modifies the traits that are applied to the friendly sources. Generate path points from traits. A lot to this. Welcome to Blind Squints at Tiny UI. Modifies your movement speed. Minus 100. That doesn't seem good. Minus 210. Doesn't seem good. All right, well. Let's see, does that get fixed? So what else do you want me to do? Possessions. Blind and chat squint at tiny UI. It pretty much... It's like, they just can't see what I'm looking at here. It's too small. Constructions and doodads are objectives. Wait, what? Are objects... Okay. Constructions and doodads are objects you place on your region. To place an object... You can select it from the panel to see if it's attached to your mouse cursor. Uh, clicking it on clicking on a suitable place in this region will place the construction under there. Okay. My gathering tree, whatever the heck that is. Create new party, draft. Okay. So where's the constructions menu?
So I guess we all just live in this tree. Just let time pass and see what happens. Don't be a fool. I don't think it's that hard. I really don't know. I I know we had some problems in the past, but this time we'll get it right. Talking to each other. Hey, it's a wabbit. All right. So someone was in here earlier saying that somebody else was trying this game and was nothing but confused. This game is really, 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 really dedicated to making everything very, 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 very obtuse. <laughs> Because I'm reading all of this and it all makes sense. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, absolutely none. Um, during your explorations in the world, you can meet other entities. Uh, the F3 key lets you open relations panel. Like, I, like everything here makes sense. But, like, the way it's all laid out and displayed is like, uh, what? Like, this isn't helpful. Sorry, game. Uh, to explore other regions, you must form a party first. To create a new party, you can click the Create Party button. Found that button. And you can't click on anything when the thing is up. Oh, in order to make a party, I need 20 people, so I can't even make a party. You can gain or lose reputation uh, with other entities you have you have met. Hostile characters attack you at sight and shown with red outlines. Neutral characters and friendly characters are green. Well, thanks for the quick tips, but still just not sure what exactly the game wants me to do here. Right. Well, they seem to have just, like, decided to go off and start gathering stuff. That cow is adorable. Hmm. It looks like they just run off and start going about gathering stuff. I really hope that they get actual names instead of just... When I stab the birch, at, when I stab that birch, mother's keepers in the neck, you'll thank me. What? When I stab that bitch, mother's keepers in the neck, you'll thank me. If you're alive at that point, of course, this island will be our offspring. I can sense it. Well, at least you've got confidence, number thirteen. Main shroom. Although, you know, th this this kind of feels like opening up Don't Starve for the first time, and you're like, what the fuck does anything mean? Oh, there is a speed. Wait, hold on a second. Because the cat's PC, does that mean that the cat is the player character? Does that mean we're the freaky omnipotent cat? Also, this game is very quiet. Like, good lord, you're quiet. Hey, now I can hear you. All right, do I click you, maybe? So move camera to home, draft, create a new party. Currently have five population, apparently. Let's jump over. What are your jobs currently? Path points, age, body, mind, soul. So I guess these are all stats. Assuming. Found any of these. Apparently I found a Carnips camp. I just make this
This game has a bragging rights stat. Created one snack of smooth plants and entity piles. Okay. So under possessions, we have uh, smooth plain shrooms, which are consumable and also rare. Huh. I have no idea what's happening, but stuff is happening. So I guess we'll just let it keep happening <laughs> until it gives me another pop-up, I guess. I guess I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to be doing or how I go about doing it. So, Chad, how are you out there? We're very lurky. It's been about uh, 30 minutes. People were very excited to see a lot of demos, so I want you guys to uh, prove it to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, me just fuddling here confused is not particularly fun for me, or for you, probably. So, in order for this to work, be entertaining for everybody, you guys have to help me. Help me out here, and uh, give me some actual... Uh, Proof that you guys are interested in the content being shown on the screen. By that, I mean talking, chatting, interacting, giving feedback, asking for a new game if this one is boring. All of that. Because if all I see is silence, I might as well just be making a YouTube video. What's the point in me streaming this? And I could make YouTube videos of these. It's not a question. Streams would be shorter, though. It's your calls, guys. Oh, well, we're creating stacks of mushrooms, I guess. Does that mean we're on year one? Wondering if we're going to get other species of characters. Can my units make a tavern? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't found a building menu yet. Like, if there is one, I've missed it. Like, I un I understand possessions and whatnot, but I have no idea how I'm supposed to go about constructing stuff. I don't know if that's a... I mean, your, your guess is as good as mine. It seems to be more of a god game thing with, like, an adventure aspect. I, I don't know. But generally, my, my response to almost everything you guys have to say is going to be, uh, I don't know. <laughs> because that's genuinely how I feel about this right now, is I don't know. White tab has some stuff in it. Yeah, this isn't building, though. This is like your upgrade tree. So I can teach them how to hunt, supposedly. Which, allegedly, I've taught them how to do. Um, so I have this. But I don't have the prerequisites for these upgrades, apparently. And I don't know how to go about uh, anything else. <laughs> yeah, you tell me how to teach them how to build, because I'm trying to figure out how to teach them how to build. So if you can figure out how to teach them how to build, you've done better than I have. Green paths generated. Green paths are for green, really. Interesting. It seems like each person has their own XP bar. When their XP bar fills up, I can give them a path, which I'm assuming gives them different personality traits. It's whack. That is a sentence I never want to read again. I mean, it's clearly a, a hidden object game where you need to find the hidden icons in the objects menu. I mean, this seems wise. Make you into a gatherer, I guess? This is going to get really tedious if you have a lot of people. Me 
make you into a guard. Give him a weapon. I do kind of like how much free will they have to just be able to go around and do things. Only one who can grab a hammer and build a construction. Interesting. Laborers being the only one who can grab a hammer and build stuff. Doesn't seem to have given me much. But yeah, if I'm going to have to be like assigning all of these manually to each individual person, that's going to get really tedious. It's also like a weird hive thing over here. We have big bugs in it. They're just like running around doing all this shit, and I'm just like, I don't even... Seed racks seem useful. Something wicked may be about to pop. Low stats of this character may cause the newborn to obtain negative genetic traits. Just like me, represented in a video game. All right, so now it looks like I can construct stuff. I can make a scavenging mound, it looks like. Did it, like, cancel it the second I told them to do that? Or do I only get one? I guess I only get one. If I click that, I don't then gain the ability to build it necessarily. Oh, I see. I had to, to I had to back up in that menu. That's that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Throw that down there. No, I think that's the player character. I think that's us. <laughs> I think we are the cat. That or it's just a cat named PC. I I don't know. So I guess it's like within each individual person's skill tree, we can give them the idea to be able to make a thing. So with you, I'm going to gain the idea to make a makeshift shelter. I think I'm doing that right. Whenever this settlement member finishes a red work time activity, this character gains two path points. This character receives a fatal body trait. It instantly is removed. Interesting. So it requires you to have the gathering tree construction tray. Which is which one? <laughs> you have lore tradition. I guess that's up here in the tradition in the traditions screen. Hey they. Well, anyway, I can make makeshift shelters now. How many did those house? Doesn't say. 
Contractors will, uh, characters will sleep and rest here, and I will squint at this tiny text, and get rid of their fatal mind traits. Sleeping on the ground instead of a house gives a nasty condition trait that drains energy. All right. Yeah, it's it's confusing but intriguing. It's confusing in a good way. It's like I am completely lost and have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. But it's but it's interesting. I do really hate that they're all called test subject though. I wish that they just had names. You've got a full mind thingy. Path points. You got a full path mind. A resettlement manager finishes sleeping. This character re removes a random fatal trait. Okay. Let's make, get potato fields, I think. That's, that seems wise. I've gathered firewood. I'm not even sure what screen that was under. Am I assuming that that dum 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 means I can't afford it? Did they not been, build that seed rack? I think they didn't build that seed rack. All right, um, let's try that again then. It's like. I don't mind when a game like instructs me that I know nothing about it. But I kind I kind of generally want a game like this to have a little bit more direction than this one currently does. Oh, I did build the seed rack. I don't need to build this. Okay, so you have enough path points to do what? Strawberry fields? Maybe I need seeds for it first. That actually wouldn't surprise me. Oh, hey, look at that. Suddenly, I have potato fields. That is V small. Holy, she is. Can place three potatoes. And a shrine, I guess. They only have five people. Now I suppose. Okay, this is telling me that I have enough to do a thing. But nothing has like their required. Oh, okay, I see. Push a button and then it gives me what? Does it just pull down one of these then? Okay, I don't know what that just did. Looks like it just gave me crafting. Allows the construction of a crafting table, which. The characters will use to craft old and new equipments. Which, uh, yeah, well, at least I can make strawberry fields now. I, um, question mark? Those are the, so you know how I really like Songs of Six because it has really big construction fields? These are like the inverse of that. Also, I'm pretty sure that this means that we're on year six and we have until year 40, I think. Assuming. They don't say how many people can sleep in these. Okay. And so I have no idea how many shelters I need. Hey! Carol was... Is, is here now, I think. <laughs> All right, so we gained a new populate. Carol. Chat, does this look like a Carol to you? Looks like a Carol to me. Seems like a very fitting name. And there's Carnip and Fanta. Can I just say, I've seen way too many things named Fanta today. This is a donkey named Fanta.
Who decided to name their donkey Fanta? Because I would like to protest against whoever decided. <laughs> Are you orange Fanta? Are you... What other Fantas are there? Do they make other Fantas? I've only ever had Orange Fanta. I think I've only ever encountered Orange Fanta, actually. Isn't Orange the, the original Fanta? I thought that Orange Fanta is like the only Fanta. Also, I think that's one of the people I need to kill. Oh, hey, our population is the tiny little number six down here. Okay, learning things. Clickety, clickety, clickety. So I'm supposed to... This is one of the... This is a, the normal person, so I can't kill you. Apparently, this person is stronger than the people that we're supposed to kill for the tutorial. Um, although, I don't actually know where the other people's camps are. And I can't make a squad because I don't have 20 people. I've I have not had Fanta probably in me, in multiple decades, so I couldn't tell you what Fanta tastes like in Canada. But yes, that that goes for almost every type of soda. Apparently, we're mining. I do like that they just kind of do shit. That 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 part is kind of fun. Like I'm super down for this. The fact that they just kind of. Chop down trees and mine stuff. Like, there is part of this that does actually feel really Dwarf Fortressy, Just because they're just off doing things in the tiny fields. The only issue is, like, that I'm running into right now is there's a lot of tasks that need to be done that... That probably need to be done that I have absolutely no idea of. That sounds disgusting, Bob Tron. <laughs> like, absolutely disgusting. Like, I would never drink, drink that. But then again, I feel that way about most juicy pops. Yeah, I will stick to coffee, tea, and water thing. You know, and maybe like fizzy beverages, you know, like no sugar added type thing. But I'm in. Nice. Everything else just kind of tastes bad to me. And tasting bad is a, an understatement. Do you think that these people are fun to watch just kind of wander around? Because I'm just kind of mesmerized by this. Speaking of mesmerized... There's Bryce. Now that's a baby if I ever saw one. All you need to do now is walk into a lion's den and get eaten and you'll truly be a child. Child does it as it pleases, it seems. Um... Is it this one that was blinking? One of those was blinking. Crafting table, that's what we need. Then take and then I I guess you then run back home. And then when you make it home, then we gain the rights to be able to do it. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, which is why I was asking. Is it's like, it, 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 there are parts of this game that look really nice and then parts of this game that look shockingly ugly. <laughs> and it's, that's going to sound really bad. Hey, we have a donkey, apparently. I don't, I don't know how I obtained a donkey, but I guess I obtained a donkey.
I think it depends on the people. Because the people are collections of little pieced together bits and parts, right? I think some of them look real nice and some of them look very strange. Like, I think this child looks awesome, honestly. Like, Bryce, this guy looks great. And also, like, this sheep looks like someone just pulled its tail really hard and gave it a wedgie at the same time. I want to say that this game might predate One Hour, One Life. <laughs> At least, like, feel like I've been aware of it longer. Anyway, we're up to seven people now. Okay, I can now make a crafting table. Can I rotate stuff? Doesn't look like it. Just plop this down here, I guess. I had a friend who got weirdly big streaming One Hour, One Life for a couple of weeks. And then everybody stopped caring about that game's existence and it somehow developed mostly negative reviews after having very positive reviews. And then I, and then he stopped playing it and stopped streaming and quit streaming. <laughs> it's kind of a sad story, actually. All right, so now we have Carol and Bryce, which are the two kids. Which is weird, because Carol seemed to grow up real quick, whereas Bryce is like, maybe I just didn't notice Carol right away. Did you come through the weird teleporter, maybe? No, apparently you're 17. I think that's your age. So then, I don't know how Carol got here. I never even like had the chance to realize or figure out why one hour one life died so quick. There's just fucking adamantium in here. These mud bugs seem pretty chill. All right, well we built the crafting table. She just became God damn it, Carol. I really wish that these would tell me. I guess it's just one person at a time can sleep in those makeshift huts. I guess. Those? Why is your name pink? mean that you can level up? I mean, you can, but... I can have a makeshift shelter. I can make a small hut. Make a rocky road. Rocky road ice cream! My favorite! A subject 42 can make us one of those. Means a random... S starting personality to every n grants a random starting personality to every newborn in this settlement. So this is like we're trying to breed a better settlement society. That's interesting. Also, to anybody who does just want the normal stuff, we'll be playing dwarves tomorrow. Just a heads up. can we do 10 pieces of road? I feel like I should make 10 pieces of road. Also small hut. Let's just, let's make two huts. Once we've made two huts, we'll then. Now on the speed up time, hotkey. You and E. I think the buildings look lovely. We'll say that. Also, the building animations are nice where they run around and smack different parts of it. I'm assuming roads just speed them up. So things I really like about this game from my bits of fiddling. Incredibly intriguing. And mysterious in the kind of way that Dwarf Fortress is mysterious and that, like, things just kind of happen and you kind of have to go with them. I really like that. I really want to see the, how the squads and stuff works, though. 
and we need some more people for that. Um, that is kind of my take currently. Aside from that, like, I, I need to see more to really actually have a thought on this. It's obtuse, confusing, but seems to have a lot of potential. I queue up roads. Be another crafting table. Mud Earth Road. Let's make you into a laborer. Because I feel like I need another laborer. Music also seems alright. I do think kind of going through all the people like this and leveling them up individually is going to get kind of tedious, though. Did I just cancel that? I don't know what that just did, but apparently closing that menu is a bad. Don't close that menu. But also, if you're interested in trying this, there is a demo available on Steam, so go try it. I find some oddball stuff sometimes. I play games that I'm interested in. This is a game that I'm interested in. Also, shout us to this detail. They're holding a rock. Look at how she's chopping down trees. You're literally holding a rock and smacking it into the side of this trunk. That's 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 a neat detail. I like that detail. All right, we have some rocky road now. Oh, interesting. Doesn't really want to connect the way that I wanted it to connect. That's fine. All right. Well, there's my road. Oy vey. Of what? Finding weird games. I mean, Steam's done a very good job hiding their curators so much that they might as well not exist. One thing, this, this is just an observation. This isn't a complaint. This, like, thing completed list over here looks completely separate to the rest of the game. Like, all of the UI in this game is unnecessarily stylized, which I appreciate. I like games with very stylized UI. But that on the top right looks like a placeholder. Like, all of this, like, just doesn't fit. Like, the font work is feels different. The coloration feels different. The icons feel weird. Everything about this menu up here just feels completely different from the rest of the game. Okay, so I can grow all... Ooh, I can go grow olive trees. So that gives me or should give me the more of these in a little bit. Can you guys have more people in them? That button do. A lot of tool tips in this game that I feel like are needed. But regardless, Meldon, I hope that I can provide more oddball games. We have some other oddball games coming up today, too. I'm only going to do, I think, today of demos. Because I still have this. Uh, we have Ixion. And then we have a few more that I want to check out. And then if we have time this evening, I'll just play some Zomboid. <laughs> God, this is intriguing, though. I, I will say, I'm... For my time of playing this, I'm only more interested and intrigued by it, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. 
I don't know about you guys, Jack, but I'm only more interested in this after having played this demo so far. Like, I think I, I will need to get this game in early when it comes into early access and play it for a few days, I think. Can I just say that it's funny that rocky roads are that roads are classified as doodads? <laughs> and also that I apparently have like an army of like wild animals just hanging out. Um green apple tree trees. What's this? Inspiring adventurer, first step towards dangerous but bountiful career. In order to obtain combat classes, characters must commit to being an aspiring adventurer first. Hitting and getting enemies or training against dummies. Well, okay, so this puts, makes this person into a aspiring adventurer. What else do you have? Quirk. Fireborn, which gives you a genetics. Holy shit, there's magic in this game. Okay, sure. We'll make you into an aspiring adventurer. Hold on a second. This character's spirit is fire-oriented. Fireborn characters are more likely to orient themselves towards red activities. Interesting. Leveling up the heart stat will grant 25 path points. I don't know what the heart stat is. I'm assuming it's that. I don't know. Is that like giving you red skills when you level up? <laughs> okay. You want to see a bit of the dome game? Dome Romantic? Maybe we'll... Actually, you know what? I, I have a feeling that Dome Romantic is going to be shorter than Ixion, so we'll do Dome Romantic next, I think. But I think, I think I'm starting to wrap my brain around what this game wants me to do. That first five minutes was a little tough, but... Contemplating characters... Quick purifying consumable can be crafted. Interesting. Let's let's request a shrine because there's like religious stuff in this game. So this is like my inventory. Possessions are things I can construct. We gain possessions by leveling people up. I think yeah, it's all starting to come together. And the gate got glowy. Why did the gate get glowy? I can spawn up everything. Oh no, I'm sorry, cutest. Bryze is nine years old and growing up. Can I just say, I, I do really like the little kid animations. Oh, is that a shrine? Oh shit, that work I didn't build that one. Okay, so I did already have a shrine. Industry is the sole resource required for a settlement to craft buildings or items. It is considered to be the necessary tools to execute any crafting attempt, whether it be a ball of clay, a lump of iron, or legs of a dead ent. The industry is usually collected by processing items through buildings by being discovered in the world as raw resources. Okay. <laughs> so the last unlock we got was crafting. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be queuing up unlocks or how this works, but... They seem to go down here once we have them and are up here when I don't have them. I don't know what this screen is for. I guess it's just, like, information. Yeah, like I said, this game keeps throwing curveballs at me. It's like, at, at first glance, I was like, oh, this is like a little fantasy down builder thing with, like, 
um, less direct control, which I really like, which was like kind of what I was uh, under the assumption that this game was. And then like I spawn in and it's just like, you were sent here by a interdimensional scientist person through a gate and he's gonna collapse your pocket dimension if you don't murder the locals. It's like, what? <laughs> Sorry, pardon? <laughs> what are you trying to tell me, game? So, I don't know, like, this is all over the place, but all over the place in kind of a neat way. Also, you live in a tree? So. <laughs> New entity revealed. Some sort of dungeon? Oh, wait, hold up. Kelek the Courtier. You look like a um, half person, half horse. You have an item weapon. That's good to know. Can I talk with you? You have a big exclamation point on your head. I don't have seven people in my party. Or I don't have enough people to make a party, so... Uh New blood! Uruk wants goods. He, want it. he wants it now. Do not... Do not pay, suffer wrath. Pay welcome to Demora, Demoria. I recommend paying or else he will feasts. I will stand and wait. Oh, so he has a tribute chest. So we have to put tributes in his tribute. I'm assuming they're just going to put tributes in his tribute chest. I hope so. Anyway. Also, I closed that menu and lost it. Where are you from? This person is from Korgitai. Apparently. Um. Erm. Uh, ask for a lore keeping rock because those seem important. I don't. Tribute can be. If you don't fill the chest with 250 industry, which we do have, before the courier times run out, raiders of Korgata will be pissed. Um. Not sure how I do that. Can make a lore keep. I can make a lore rock though. That's good. <laughs> it's like I don't know how to pay these these bandits to not kill me, but I I can make a rock of lore. Um. I can click on you. Chat, have I missed anything? How, if, if you guys have spotted how to put stuff into this chest, I'm open to uh, assists here. But all I know is apparently I need to give this lad some things. You have, if you don't pay 250 industry before time runs out. I got 15 minutes to give him 250 industry. There's no numbers anywhere, yeah. It's not, ex well, I mean, there, there is numbers here. This is my stockpile. I have five of these and three of these, and those are impossible to read. Um, but I need to either give you traits, make another gathering mound. Actually, hold up. Is this a... Oh, okay. I can, so I've assigned this person to pay the tribute. Okay, I get it. Literally have to go into the blue, the, the blue path and give a person the blue path in their life. Okay. 
I think my brain just like clicked into gears. So I'm gonna describe this in Dwarf Fortress terms. So if you've never played Dwarf Fortress before, this is gonna make no sense. Literally what you're doing is you're building their personality trees. You are, every single time this bar fills up, you select a person and you get to select a different path for their psyche. So you can decide, I want you to go into fighting and then that unlocks more paths in fighting. You're like, they all have their own character trees, but it's like based on whether or not you want to be, uh, so blue, the, the, the wild path is random paths generated based on the, uh, based on the assets of your settlement and traits of this character. Uh, green paths are offered to, um, are usually offered to green re related rewards such as pregnancy or green construction. So you could, if you're given an option in the green path and it's a, it's a lady, you could make them have a baby. Uh, in the blue path, the points are related to constructions, doodads and non-combat items. Red is combat. Uh, so related to combat traits and red constructions and combat items. Uh, white looks like it's for, uh, White related constructions and craftables. That I don't whatever that means. And then black is black related constructions and craftables. Okay, I understand now. I understand. And they're one off constructions, so each person can only like do the thing once. Yeah, I understand how this works now. And then you can when you have 20 people, you can make a party using this, and then you can roam around the map and explore in like a pseudo rts -y fashion. Okay, I understand now. The bells are going off in my brain. Let's make a bonfire pit. <laughs> Do I need a bonfire pit? I don't know. Are we building a bonfire pit? Yeah. Uh, you're ready to level up. I guess these are just their preferred ones. Get some more strawberries. The UI seems to take a little bit to update in a weird way. Make banana trees. Guess it's tropical here. <laughs> Condition or else, that's funny. Um Make you into a hunter. Because you've already got the guard establishment. All right, so now the chest is full. Also, chat, in regards to Dwarf Fortress things, allegedly we'll be seeing... Uh, or Fortress News tomorrow. Either tomorrow or the day after. I think it might be tomorrow. All right, I can make a ba 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 bonfire now. Does not look like fishing to me. Mining. Astrology, cooking, that seems useful. So we've now unlocked cooking. So you select one of these, and then when this fills up, I don't know what this is or what gains this, but when this fills up and hits 550, I select one of these, press go, and it gives me the associated skill for it. So now I guess I have access to cooking things. I don't think Tarn really knows what a Steam Deck is. So, <laughs> I doubt that. I mean, I'm sure it'll be playable. The, que the, the better question is, do you want to? That's, that's the real question. Mm. Is do you want to play Dwarf Fortress on a Steam Deck? Also, uh, Edrich, this person seems to have joined us. I think that there's like people just like immigrating here too. Hi, Maz. What up? Do I want to play it on the Steam Deck? I don't want to play anything on a Steam Deck because that thing looks uncomfortable to control. All right, I'm going to slow down time for a second here and just quickly go use the restroom. I will be back in a moment.
All right, I return. Not that kind of, not that kind. Well, I mean, Door Fortress right now doesn't even have a promised uh, Linux release as part of the premiums. And considering that's a Linux device, currently I don't even think it'll run. <laughs> but, you know, I'm sure someone will make it work. All right. Um, I still don't know where any of these people are located. Type? But yeah, I can't. I, I don't know what these types are. Feels very unfinished. Looks like Carol's about to level up. I do love your mustache, Carol. It is beautiful. There feels like to be a lot of placeholder text in this, too. Man, imagine only being an adult for two hours and 36 minutes. <laughs> what about you? So you're going to be a child for another eight minutes and 48 seconds. You hit 100. I have bragging rights. Uh, all Shadowborn characters gain plus one permanent mind, whatever that means. Uh, prepared serfs, laborers can now pull out a hammer and go to the construction sites without go needing to get a new one. Uh, serfdom, gatherers gain a stride bonus after starting gathering activities. All Fireborn characters gain plus one soul. I'm going to do the one that I understand with my feeble mind. So I will give you prepared serfs because that seems a lot nicer. So now we have a owned bragging right. And that is almost dwarf fortress levels of, oh God, my eyes blue. So that's off to a good start. Um, we now have more things I can click on. Um, I can make a cook. Or I can make you into a cook. I could have a risky pregnancy with this character. Somewhat wicked. Something wicked may be about to pop. The low stats of this character may the low stats of this character may cause the newborn to obtain negative genetic traits. Or I can make this character into a cook, or I could queue up a cooking station. I think I'm gonna make you be a cook. The next person I'm going to queue up a cooking station. Um, hmm. make a male training dummy, the third person can craft merchant zones and buy shop items from traveling merchants as red paths. Okay, so using red paths, I can... Red path is a brand of sugar here. I just would like to shout that out. Also, um, a brand of... It's a brand of sugar and also flour. Flour and sugar is red path. I mean, I would say in some ways this is more... Opaque than Dwarf Fort. It's very unique. You can construct special items. So the question is, what do I need? Make another small hut. I'll worry about it later. Cooking station. And a melee training dummy.
I'm pretty sure it's intentional. I don't believe I've ever played an unintentional puzzle game. Most games that set out to be a puzzle game are pretty intentional about it. You ate a Titan potato? Remember this character is born into a settlement and receives a random white personality trait with 10%. This character's... Can you help her? Danger at home region. Where exactly? <laughs> Please define danger game. What exactly should I be afraid of? Okay, so we are now... Oh, that's a placeholder asset if I ever saw one. But uh, Maz, how are you doing? We appreciate you tuning in. Today is one of those days where things have been very chill. It's like this whole month has been. Still not sure what it meant by danger. Sure it was nothing, though. Population hasn't gone down. Doing all right. You know, checking out all these different demos. Okay, so we now have a cooking station. All right. Subject 42 appears to be training his mustache ability to gain a bigger mustache. Naturally. Isn't that what you do every day, chat? Is try and channel your inner mustache to have a mustache more like this guy? I mean, look at this guy. This guy? Okay, hold on a second. I'm assuming that these little characters are different connect collections of, like, assets patched together to make a random character, right? How much do you want to bet that this person's mustache can also be flipped upside down? Because the, the way that it's going, this whoop, I'll bet you they use the exact same sprite flipped over as a handlebar mustache. Like, same with this one. This looks like horns, almost. This guy's... Test Subject 3 has got a pretty glorious mustache, though. All these people have really glorious mustaches. Meanwhile, you over here are a child. You're going to continue being a child for what? Two minutes. Like how he just, like, winds up punch... Punch. See what we can do with you in the red path. And give you a slingshot. You can make a makeshift club. Let's get you to make a makeshift club. Made another small hut. Are you going to go off and make your small hut? Or your, your uh, makeshift club? Or are you going to just have access to it now? Right? Another person who, uh... Self-critical. All work time activities will grant plus one amenity, but will apply a fatal self with a 10% chance. This character receives a fatal heart trait, whatever that means. It has a 14% chance to be instantly removed. Or I could just get more berries. Getting more berries sounds pretty great, not gonna lie. <laughs> Adds rodent, fish, and bug, and bird traps to the trapper passion and trapper passion to the path outcomes. Sure, that sounds good. So my first impressions of this game elicit. It's exceptionally obtuse. 
but that's not a negative thing. The way the game works is each of these characters as just goes out and starts gathering the resources you need, right? Like you you have no control over that. It's very automatic. Like you're not manually giving them tasks. Um and then Okay. It's 42 who's training that. So, 42. Um as time passes, they all level up individually. As they level when they level up, you can send them down a path, which is this. A path is either a building, an item that is crafted, or a trait that that person gains or an activity that that person does. So a path can either be this person gains a job, this person gains a trait that's good for a job that you want that person to have, or a trait that they are, that you're working that person towards. Um, or it's a one-time consumable building that you can construct. So a building that you can build once, um, and then another person has to go down the same path to be able to build another one. So um, these are like the recommended paths for this person. Or I can go into the green path, which is a lot of like, you know, green things, farming and otherwise. Um, there's the blue paths, which are just general buildings. So I can make a small hut. I can make a rocky a, a road, a dirt road, a uh, crafting table, a scavenging mound, a fire firewood pile, or a makeshift shelter. These are all one-time consumables. They then pop up in here, and then I can go build them. Or they, or I can do a red one, which is like the combat-based ones, which is like hunting buildings, or, or like a trap table, which I just built, um, as well as aspiring adventurers, which lets them go train combat and become a soldier. Uh... But once you do that, you then get locked out of the other paths for that person. As a millennial, I am offended by that statement. Um, also, as a disabled millennial who wanted to work in trades and can't, I'm doubly offended by that statement. Anyway, um, Yeah, so that that's kind of the, the gameplay. As far as how I feel about this game, I am very... Not much, not even scratching the surface. There, there feel, it feels like there's a lot here, so it's intriguing. I'm intrigued by it. But I don't really have, like, a rock-solid opinion on it. There's also, like, quests and people that come and make demands from you and other stuff, and... Also, just like 10 seconds about my life. Number one, Lilicit. I'm a millennial. Number two, I tried to get into construction when I was younger, and they wouldn't let me because my eyes were too shit. Um, also, any kind of, like, walk-in and just get-it job without any, like, experience, especially blue-collar work, just won't hire me because of my disabilities. So I am uh, doubly offended by you saying give them the millennial path so they are excluded from taking any job. Yes, I am a millennial that was excluded from taking any job because of my disabilities. So, you know, just, just throwing that out there. Also, haha, -ha, funny joke. Um, let's see, I've got another person that I can throw in, throw in here. Just get more strawberry fields. Maybe the next fatal... I don't understand what any of this stuff means. But I guess we'll give you that. I'm absolutely well aware that you meant no offense. I just dislike people mocking stereotypes, especially stereotypes that I fall under. Because I don't think it's funny. I'm aware that you meant no offense. None taken. I just... The next time you say things, you'll think. Alright. Um... Do you have gatherer and cook? Could give them a risky pregnancy. Sound I haven't heard before. Seed collector is a passion. Requires gathering tree construction with progress. Progress 100 and check criteria to exist equals subjects 18's home region. What? 
requires none of the characters in the test subject 18's in entity to have equal or more than one stacks picking the items to... I have no idea what any of those words mean. We'll make you into a seed collector, I guess. Stack accountant, uh, it's a challenger. Don't know what that means. You're you're a laborer. Um. Hund Manor? Hund Manor's craft a condend condending stick. These sticks are then used to get rid of uninvited quirks. So wait, hold on. Is this literally the technology of a beating stick? These sticks are then used to get rid of unwanted quirks by those who are affected by them. If their self-stat... If their self stat is high enough, self requirements may vary depending on the severity of the quirk. I don't like making fun of people based on stereotypes. Like, at all. So, no, I will not do that. All Lightborn characters gain one permanent plus one self. All Challenger characters have the chance to gain a random green personality. After work time activities, that seems good. All Human Settlers gain one path point every, after every work time activity. That one. Because that one are, are words that I understand. Seems filled with a lot of words I just don't understand. All right, um. Okay, so this person is a red path. Ooh. Can make you a bunch of armor piece. A wound licker. Whenever this character receives a bleeding affliction, he gains the licking wounds boon. It regenerates endurance and removes bleeding over time. Whew! This you know, I have a feeling this might be a bad game for demos, and this might just be a game that I need to just play for, like, a week. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the more of these icons I find, the more of the, the more this way I feel. Uh, let's just give you a sword for 31. Did I ever build that trap table? No, I don't think I did. I rotate you. You know how earlier I was saying that some games show better in a demo and than others? This. But this is an extremely strong first impression. I mean, like, it's it, this demo is more or less, for what it's worth, this demo has actually probably done what it's supposed to do. It's made me go, I will play this when it comes out. I don't know. How do you guys feel, chat? I mean, Bobtron agrees with me that it seems way too in-depth for a demo, but... What are you doing there, lady? 43 years old and pointing at the foyer. Are they rebuilding the fire? Kind of expecting that's what they're doing. Birdie! Okay, they are rebuilding the fire. That's what I thought. Sorry, that does not look like a chick. That's definitely a fully grown hen. All right, I know of a scrap sword, which I can give to 31. Also, 
I don't think you're a kid anymore. You can go to work now. How much longer are you a child for? Oh, you are an adult now. Well. <laughs> Um, I can produce firewood. I, s I still have no idea what any of this is. Let's see, they're just kind of recommending more potato fields and plants and such, so we'll do that. 13... Is a laborer who has a uh, diarrhea, and the uh, quote is "It's raining." <laughs> it's one industry after every successful activity. This looks like an interesting game. Yeah, well, they 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 st the the first starters, the first starter five are all named test subject number, because they come from a weird interdimensional portal thingy. The jig. I just have no idea what I'm actually supposed to be doing, or what anything actually means. So you're praying to the weird rock, and you're punching the dude. That's good. Seems like they all just kind of go train without me having to do much. But also, hello. What was me? Yeah, this is definitely a game that we'll just have to return to. So I'll play until whenever they tell me that I've failed this map. <laughs> and we'll move on to the next one. Oh, I guess I never did make a gathering mound. I made the other mound. Um. So let's level up test subject 42. Envious. Whenever a settlement member finishes a red work time activity, this character gains two path points. I think my big worry about this game is it might become painfully um, tedious. That's my one real concern about this, is it might just become painfully tedious constantly leveling up people, but I don't know what, like, endgame looks like for this, so... Uh, let's go for fishing next, because I'm curious to see what fishing looks like. Just got to wait for this to level up. It can be unlocked by spending unity points. We now have this gathering mound. So we have the gathering mound and the scavenging mound. Two different things. I also haven't seen anywhere to rename people, but knowing this, it's probably just hiding somewhere. I'm currently trying to figure out how to give rise some work this guy he's just sitting here on like the one point and he doesn't seem to be gaining anymore but test subject three um
Let's make another condemning stick. I'm just kind of curious. Then try and forcibly give it to this guy. <laughs> if that's an option for me. If I'm allowed to just forcibly give somebody a condemning stick, I'm just going to give them the condemning stick and let them do the condemning stick job. What are you doing? Okay, so you're crafting the condemning stick currently. Which, from what I can tell, is just like a kind of smoldering hot stick that's going to hurt when it hits you. Interesting. They do have, like, confl trait conflictions. So this one has a conflicting trait. That's interesting. Oh, shit. The cooks can learn new recipes. We're going to learn to make boiled potatoes. So that you can cook up here better. Came on and prosper. I will... Game on pros with much prosperity. Or try to, anyway. I don't know if you'll be back later tonight, but uh, if we get through all the demos I want to play today, then we'll be playing um, Zomboid this evening. If I get through all the demos I plan to play today. Pretty big if. It is interesting that you need 20 people. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. I just figured out how to add people to a party. You actually have to, like, select them. So then, can I... Okay. The disband. So draft. Can I tell them to go places now? Okay. So once they're drafted, I can then be like, Oi! Go here! Well, let's grab all of you. Yeah, so I... Looks like I can't add too many more. Can't, like, batch add all of them at once, which is kind of annoying. I can, like, explore now. Okay, so this is the other part of the game that I was trying to figure out. If it existed. Which is this little... You can, like, click on people to move them. We seem to have found, like, the, uh... Kiri biome. <laughs> Although, chat, I got a question for you guys. Is me saying... This game's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kitty, come back here. Is me saying this game is obtuse a good thing or a bad thing? This seems kind of dangerous. Can I... Hmm. What happened to your sword? You should be using the sword. Dude, stab it. Well, I found the combat. It's very slow. Ooh, you might die. I want to see somebody die, though, so it's all good. Nice. Hey, hit the other one. Come on, punch him. Hey. We got him deadified. Whatever that means. So I tell them to disband and they make a little campfire. And then they sleep. Okay, so this is super fucking cool. I really, 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 really like the little combat thing there. And the reason I really, really like it 
is because I led them all the way down here. I told them I they ended up fighting with the animal. We gathered the animal's remains. I now have it. It's right here. Then I I, I disbanded them, and now and then they just grab gather wood, make a little campfire, and then they take a fucking nap. I love that. That is fucking fantastic. The little details here are kind of great. It's it's funny because like on the main menu of this game, it stated that it's a passion project, right? And yes, absolutely is a passion project. But at the same time, games being a passion project like this makes them significantly cooler than they would be otherwise. This is really neat. I just wish the chat wasn't so lurky. <laughs> Sharing my excitement. Come on, guys. My little dudes run up this way. It makes doing my job really, really hard. I, I I can't really explain it any other way, but it really, really is kind of painful. Because it's like, I'm playing this game that I think is really cool. I think that you guys think it's really cool too. I get excited about something and no one says anything. It's like trying to run a business and all you get in response from anything is just crickets. It's like, come on guys, work with me here a little bit. Just a little bit? Yo. There's like scorpions. These have much less HP than the weird Arctic thing that I was fighting with. So I was gonna grab fishing. Pause for a second. Unspoken Faith, all Lightborn gain that. All Challenger characters have a chance to gain a random personality trait after work time activities. Someone was saying something earlier about heart being good. Oh, also the boar. Ooh, the boar looks tough. Let's see if I can run away. Because that boar is scary. Hoping that it loses interest eventually. Come on, keep running. Yeah, that boar is much closer to the other scarier enemies we had earlier in the snowy area. Let's see if other people come help. Yeah, it looks like they do. Trying to make you run, too. Oh. Kiting people is super difficult. So it looks like we got your sword from the ground. Well, two people died. Anyways, chat, we'll need to come back and explore more of this in the future. I think that this is a super neat little game. Also, you are big, Carol. Just in comparison to everybody else and even the buildings. Anyway. We'll have to try more of this in the future. But very solid first impressions, I will say, for this game. Very, very solid. Very, very solid. But chat, you guys do have to work with me here. This isn't a one-person gig. You guys want interesting, weird streams like this of little demos? You got to make me think that I have more than two people watching. Because based on the chat activity today, it feels like there's maybe ten people watching. You guys got to work with me here. If you guys want streams of demos and stuff. Let's play a little bit more of that record from earlier. And then we'll figure out what we're playing next. 